Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily install the Thermalrite Assassin King 120 on the AM4 platform, or even the AM5 platform. Keep watching to find out how. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to easily install the Thermalrite Assassin King 120 onto the AM4 platform. It's pretty much exactly the same for the AM5 platform. I may do a separate follow-up video on that uh, just to show you some of the other things which can be done there, which are slightly different, but essentially it's the same thing. It's using the same backplate, etc., etc. So if you're doing this on AM5, just follow along. It should be absolutely fine. Some things you'll need is a cross-headed screwdriver, preferably one with a little bit of length to it to allow you to get to the screws. Potentially some thermal paste if you haven't got your own already, if you haven't got some MX4. There is actually thermal paste included with this, so you can use the included stuff. It's actually pretty good stuff, but again, use whatever paste you feel necessary. Also, ideally, good access to your motherboard. If it's actually inside the PC, then just make sure you've got access to the rear backplate to hold it in place whilst you're attaching some of the brackets. But otherwise, that is pretty much it, so let's get on with it. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the AM4 installation. So this is our motherboard. We've got a processor already installed. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is to remove the, uh, the four standard mountings for the AM4 socket and remove the plastic parts, put those to one side. You may well need those at a later date if you decide to change or return your board or something like that, if you sell it, etc. So yeah, don't throw those away. You won't be needing the screws again. Those are gonna be replaced by the ones we get inside the packaging. So that is essentially it, leave the back plate in place. We do need to reuse that. And next of all, we're gonna cut open our package for the uh, pinky red ones there, which are marked up AM4. So next we can put on the spacers. Now you may find with these, they only go in one way. So if they don't fit immediately, then you might wanna just take them off again and try the other way around. That's worked out okay. So what we wanna do next is to put on the brackets, which go on the top. So you've got two metal brackets and they go either side. So you can hold the bracket in place like this and put your first screw down and just get that started. And then you should find the other side is gonna line up quite nicely. And just do that up until you come to a, a part where it's a firm stop and then repeat exactly the same on the other side. Again, tighten up until you come to a hard stop. Next up is gonna be the thermal paste application. Obviously use whichever thermal paste uh, is your preference. Because I'm gonna be doing testing, I'm not gonna be using their paste. I'm gonna use MX4, which is what we use for pretty much most of our testing. So we're just gonna do a bit of a blob there. It's probably a bit too much to be honest with you, but never mind. We'll uh, spread that off and remove any excess. So when yours is done, it may look a little something like this. So now we can actually attach the cooler itself. Now, obviously, make sure that you remove the uh, sticker from the bottom. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is to match up these holes here and here at the bottom with these pins here and here. So take the cooler and if you want to, you can line it up on whichever one is closer to you and then just lower it into position. And you should find that both of them will actually match up pretty easily without any real problems. So hopefully you can see both of those now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use alternating sides and reverse click or reverse turn until you hear a click. There we go, there's the first click. So one, two, three, just three turns there. Then we're gonna do the same on the other side. So reverse turns till we hear a click. There we go, there's the click. And one, two, three. And then we're gonna do the other side again. One, two, three. And then just do your alternate sides. And about three turns each side should be absolutely fine to bring it down nice and slowly. And should make it nice and even. And there we go, the last three turns actually has gone down and 
pretty much cinched it in. So another tiny little turn and that has completely fixed it. So that is the uh, cooler installed. If you want to give it a little wobble just to make sure it's not loose or anything and it should be absolutely rock solid. Excellent stuff. So now we can attach the fan. So for me, when I'm installing this, what I want to do is to have the wires coming out at the bottom. Uh, just makes things a little bit easier to do and a little bit neater. So what we want to do is to get our two clips and put them on the sides. Like so. It's a little bit hard to do upside down. But there you go. Get the general idea so they're just hanging on the sides there and then we can attach it to the cooler so what i like to do is hold the fan on the side and use your fingers on the sides on the spring clips and just gently lower it down you can actually rest it on top of the screw so you can see that screw at the bottom there's like a hard stop and you can use that to find your level then just pull the spring clips back a little bit and then on the other side you can do exactly the same and that is essentially it if there's a uh, any issues with it being slightly the wrong height or anything, you can always readjust it. Just pull the spring clip back a little and then you can just move it up slightly if you want to, if you're a perfectionist. Oh, there we go. I think that, uh, yeah, that looks pretty decent. Now we can just connect up the fan headers and we're pretty much done. So for us on this particular motherboard, it's actually pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And because the wires are coming out on this side section, it's going to be easy for cable management. So the first one is going to be our PWM header. So this is this one here. So that is very easy to do indeed. So all we need to do is just plug that in onto there. And then you can tuck the wires out of the way behind the board, whatever you want to do. And for the addressable RGB connector, this one on this motherboard is just here. So just make sure that the pins are lined up appropriately. And there we go. So obviously you can untie all this stuff and cable manage that out of the way at the top of your case. But effectively that is done. Okay, so there you go. Pretty easy to install. And yep, yeah, overall I think Thermal have done a fantastic job on the packaging, the uh, instructions, basically everything in there is, is very, very simple to install. But having said that, I have had a little bit of experience with this. So if you are experiencing any problems, please do feel free to reach out to me in the comments section below. Or alternatively, you can reach out to us more directly on our Discord chat server, which is completely free to join. Links for that will be in the video description below. But I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.